remember the guy came on the bus and said, hey, we're gonna go down to Terlingua and have a concert. So we all go down there and set up and nobody comes to the show. Willie and Waylon, Jerry, Jeff, we all were nobody. Yet we all knew that this could be something. Cause all us tonight were asleep at the wheel. <laughs> Sleep at the Wheel was like watching a circus. You know, this music is not easy to play. It sits in the fringes of jazz and bebop. They were just blowing everybody away. It was all about music. I mean, we had them, country western shirts, boots, with the whole thing, except we were still dirty hippies. Well, how does a Jewish hippie kid from Philadelphia suburbs wind up with genuine musical legends? How does that happen? <laughs> So the plan was, well, let's move to the country. Well, Lucky calls up and says, hey, I met these guys that have this farm in West Virginia. And they said if we came, we could help them do the farm work and, and put together a band. I think they thought we were strange, dropped in off another planet. It was a creative time. We practiced all day. It went from little local reputation to pretty prominent stages in DC. All we knew was we were having a great time. Commander Cody took us out to California in 1971. Going to the West Coast really solidified the move to Western Swing because that's where all the Okies and Texans and Arkies had gone in Western Swing after World War II. Where's that gal with a red dress on? Some folk call her Dinah. Stole my heart away from me way down Louisiana. Take me back to Tulsa. Ladies and gentlemen, Western young, Swing Willie had heard about this weird band called Sleep at the Wheel playing Bob Wheel's music, so he came down to see us. He said, you ought to be in Austin. I knew he'd do well down here. I knew that there's a lot of people down here who was hungry for that kind of music. It was a post-hippie, cosmic cowboy paradise, and Willie was the godfather. I saw miles and miles of ticks. You are not who you are born, you are who you make yourself. When I moved to Texas, I wanted to become a Texan. Thank you. See, I done it. It's about dedicating your life to doing this. I can't believe it. All these Yankees basically saved Western Slang music. Come on. 